Hi, teams and participants. Um, we've reached the moment you've been waiting for, prize presentations. But before that, we wanted to thank you for your commitment. Um, it's not easy working around the clock uh, during your weekend, but seeing you here ready to help crowdsource uh, COVID-19 solutions for the African continent was very inspirational, impressive, and we're just so proud of you guys. I've seen teams um, go from narrowing down their problem focus to pivoting to new solutions, delivering amazing solutions and presentations to us, not only in practice pitches, but also in the final presentations as well. So we want to thank you for bearing with us, being patient with us during this weekend. This experience was very fast paced, but very impactful and very rewarding. So thank you for that. Um, I would also like to acknowledge our partners, mentors, and our incredible judges. Victoria, next slide. We had the pleasure of having so many judges sit in through your final presentations, um, evaluate a lot of ideas, um, and pick three per track um, to actually win. So thank you judges for your commitment this weekend. Um, we really love the time um, and the insight that you gave to our teams uh, during these presentations. And lastly, I would love to thank the amazing team here. Um, I wish we had like a song where we could stand and dance. Um, everybody is super tired, uh, but everybody is so excited and feels so um, impressed by how this, uh, that's, this event uh, went and this weekend went. So with that, I'll transition it to track a, because we're here for presentations and we want to know who won. So track A, if you could start um, by announcing your winners. I'm sure everybody is curious. Yay. Yay. <laughs> so track A was, uh, if, if there's a next slide that has the track. Great. Yes. Yeah, so these are the winners. Um, pool Party, uh, Path Four, and Covistics. Pool Party actually ended up proposing a new protocol for pooling our samples. So our track A was focused on getting patient samples to labs for analysis, and they proposed a new uh, protocol that would help reduce the cost and time that would take to sample uh, a population. And they proposed doing pooling pooled samples that would not reduce the specific specificity and uh, for for a, a group of thirty people, um, and allow the rural villages to open up slowly based on, on population uh, testing. Pathport, uh, team Pathport uh, proposed transporting, using the existing vaccine cold chain uh, that exists in Africa. There is a pretty robust uh, vaccine cold chain that exists in Africa. Um, and they, they proposed reusing that to transport samples with the help of 3D printed um, devices that can help carry, uh, help carry the samples back to the labs. Um, and then Team Covistics, um, it's proposing a new community-based logistics model uh, using, um, yeah, so moving from one location to the other in other African countries is difficult due to remote areas and poor roads. And so they're proposing tra on transporting COVID-19 samples from remote areas to labs, um, using community, local community members to s quickly and safely deliver samples using um, an SMS and uh, and, a, and an app-based system. Uh, the main innovation over here is not just that this, this solution would stick during COVID, but also post-COVID create a new income source and community resilience. Um, I wanted to mention that the judges had a really hard time deliberating among se several other really great ideas that we had in our team and thank the teams for the great work that they put in over the weekend. Thank you. Track B. Yeah, I'm gonna announce the winners for track B. So for track B, the winners are Connecting Africa, Cloudcast, and Channel B Track 3. Congratulations. So for Connecting Africa, the problem they want to solve is in the frontline communities of Africa, there is a lack of case identification and burden building on the health system, partly due to a disconnect between communities and existing structures. And their solution leverages the established system of gatekeepers, such as HIV peer educators and influencers, such as Village has, and connects them to the health system through an app they're developing. And for Kafka's team, 
the problem they want to solve is that COVID-19 is raising in Tanzania, a country with low internet penetration, few doctors and few detection rate. And the solution, and their solution is that building an efficient system for tracking COVID and referrals, which is built upon current technology accepted in Africa, adopted in Africa. And the third team is Channel B Track 3. The problem they want to solve is that how might we create a culturally acceptable response system for communities to easily communicate their symptoms and identify the points of care available. And their solution is the Connect Care system leverages existing referral frameworks, infrastructure, and government collaboration to create an automated multi-channel communication platform for users to easily communicate their system, symptoms and get directed to an appropriate treatment, treatment center. Yay, t uh, track B. Uh, we're going to move on to track C. Hello, track C. So we have our three winners. This was really, really, really tough for us to decide. The judges had an incredibly tough time deciding on the three winners, as you can see, Cowell, Chin, and Co Radio, because all the presentations were amazing. But unfortunately, we had to, unfortunately, we have to select on just three of them. And the first one was Cowell. Cowell is solving the problem of informing and motivating health workers facing burnout due to limited time and resources. So their solution is to build a platform accessible from urban and rural areas, either online or offline, to share information and motivational content with health workers who are facing burnout and mental challenges. The second winner is Chin. Chain, the problem they are solving is ineffective information distribution and that hinders pandemic responses at the local level. And the solution they are proposing is using SMS-based platform for COVID-related information dissemination to health workers. And then the third winner is Core Radio. So Core Radio, the problem they are tackling is healthcare workers in Africa are not always able to access the latest information about COVID. And their solution is to deliver meaningful COVID-19 content to these health workers. And the exciting thing about Core Radio is that they are ready to go live. They're actually going live this weekend. So you can look out for Core Radio and start listening in right now. Thank you all. You guys are all winners. Amazing. Um, we have Track D next. Congratulations, Track D. It was an honor to see the progression of your problem statements and solutions over the weekend. So without further ado, the winners are um, Moyo Bag, Team 7. Uh, what their problem they tackled was, what do African, Africa's community health workers need to fight COVID-19 surge periods in resource restricted settings? And their solution was the Moyo Bag, a low cost, low tech solution for community health workers. The multi-use bag contains educational materials for community health workers in those countries to disseminate information and prepare their communities for surge periods. The next winner was SaniPak Group D14. And the problem they sought to solve was providers in low resource African countries lack fast and reliable access to clean N95 masks. And their solution was, our, was the SaniPak, a portable, personal battery powered UV N95 sterilizer that provides fast, cost effective and reliable access to clean N95 masks. And the last team, COVID Care D77, uh, they tackled surge readiness in Ghana and they solved this with a COVID Care mobile app using geospatial technology. Thank you, Track D. Great work. Um, we're gonna move on to E. Tracking. So it was a great pleasure to have all the teams during the weekend. You put in a lot of effort and thank you so much for the presentation. They were amazing. So the track had three winners and it was again very difficult for the judges to pick them. Uh, we have challengers. So track E006, Earthing Bridge 010 and Helima Health. So challengers 
are trying to eliminate the travel for patients, especially those with chronic diseases in Africa um, in, during this crisis. So that is their idea. Birthing Bridge is leveraging the expertise of the local area network, the volunteer network and um, mobile health platforms for sustaining maternal and newborn health. Uh, and Helima Health is trying to develop an app which is AI powered, uh, getting in the vitals and allowing the health guests to make a decision on which patients should be visiting the infrastructure, physical infrastructure versus which patients can defer that or delay uh, the visit to the hospital. I think all these ideas are great. Uh, apart from these three, they were amazing ideas in the other teams as well. And all aimed at ensuring that whatever advancement and progress has been made in making the existing infrastructure healthcare system in the continent uh, do stay relevant and stay functional even during the COVID crisis. Thank you all. It was an absolute pleasure. And we hope that you continue working with your teams on your ideas, even after the hackathon ends. Good luck. Thank you, Team E, or Track E, sorry. Track F, you're up next. All right, Track F, Energizing Healthcare. So excited to have uh, led you all during this weekend. We had a great time. Um, and yeah, pleased to announce the winners. Uh, the first one, Prio One, uh, they came up with a solution with an open source data platform uh, to consolidate uh, the location of healthcare facilities and help them um, understand what are the needs for uh, energy with these specific uh, health facilities. Uh, the second one was SCADA for Africa, um, engaging the, the community. They came up with an, an app and a solution to uh, help people voluntarily cut power to help um, health uh, systems uh, get more, more power. Uh, and the final one, SOLUX, um, Again, uh, building a, a digital cooperative of international financiers, uh, more, more of a finance uh, uh, a solution, but great idea. Thanks to everyone in, in the track F. Uh, thanks to all the participants. It was a real pleasure and a true honor to be uh, leading you over the weekend. Awesome. Um, we're moving on to track G. Track G, you guys did such an incredible job this weekend. You worked so hard and I'm so impressed on um, what you were able to put together in such a short amount of time. Um, so our winners are Testing for the Future, Team 6, Team Ubuntu, Team 12, and Waterworks, Team 21. So Testing for the Future, um, the problem was ineffective temperature screening methods um, that are in place. Uh, so, you know, using handheld guns to detect temperature. And their solution is actually using thermal drones to detect and capture spiked temperatures um, instead of those handheld guns so they can detect the temperature in large crowds of people. Team Ubuntu, their problem was how do we engage communities in densely populated urban communities where social distancing is not possible in order to effectively communicate simple hygiene, hygiene practices. So their solution was building an SMS-based influencer identification and communication system to include all stakeholders, public health officials, local, local community members, and community influencers. And Waterworks, uh, their problem was access to hand washing in Africa uh, is limited due to lack of facilities and water resources, which limits preventative measures in times of pandemic. Their solution was portable, low-cost, efficient hand washing system that is easily scalable across socio-demographic groups in Africa. And the judges insisted that I would be remiss if I didn't give a shout out to Better Mask, E-M-S-K-E, and Innovative Skyline. Um, they just thought these were really good solutions as well that they see a lot of commercial applicability for. Great job, everyone. Amazing. Uh, we're gonna move on to track H. Track H, my hall stars. It was so fun to work with you all this weekend. And I'm so proud of you all and seeing the way that you have progressed throughout the weekend has been truly amazing. And I'm humbled to be a part of your journeys. We have three winners, but you are all winners in our eyes. We, I, we are going to be providing a lot of feedback for all of the teams. We'd love all of you to move forward with your ideas if possible. So without further ado, our three winners here are HV20, 
Baracoa and Ripple. HB20 is working towards um, solving the issue of the shortage of ventilators by designing, developing, and manufacturing a low-cost ventilator. They spent the weekend prototyping and 3D printing a design, which was they were able to show us, which was awesome to see. Uh, Baracoa also uh, has a similar issue in shortages of supplies, working on N95 masks. They were able to develop a vacuum-formed N95 mask using uh, supplies that you would readily have in your home, including uh, an oven to, uh, to heat up the plastic and a, a vacuum to help you work on it. So I'll let them uh, share more with us as they progress forward with this project. And finally, Ripple, which is working with vulnerable populations in, in Africa to help them get access to PPE supplies by uh, leveraging an existing network of, uh, of recycling. Actually, it's an MIT startup and our MIT Sloan uh, affiliate, and they're going to work with that implementation partner to repurpose their recycling supply chain for spreading PPE. So we're very proud of all that you accomplished and look out for more information from us. Thank you all. All right, thank you. Uh, we're gonna move on to track I. Track I, it was so much fun being your track lead this weekend. We had a ton of great teams. The judges had a lot of problems picking the top three. Um, however, we are happy to announce that our winners are Save the Now, uh, which during the complete or partial lockdown, uh, the vulnerable workforce has been exposed to extreme situations where their small daily wage is not attainable. To address this, they propose a voucher platform that allows community members to contribute to their members in distress by pre-buying their services or products during the time of lockdown. Uh, this was a really amazing presentation, especially given the fact that they had some technical difficulties and had to switch presenters halfway through. Uh, next, I wanted to congratulate Sabenza. COVID-19 has left informal workers without a safety net across Africa, and their solution uh, is to help create a marketplace to address the mismatch between some of this supply and demand, where some sectors are experiencing a spike in demand as a result of COVID, uh, and some are, uh, and some workers are without jobs and they can help match those. Finally, we have Usawa, which is helping to address the problem of informal markets and the inability to shut them down. Uh, it's not a feasible option to stem the spread of COVID-19. And so they proposed a density feedback system where depending on the local context, customer density can be eliminated through drones, can it be estimated through drones, cell density, or ticketing, and so that people can find safer times to be going to the markets. So thank you very much to all the teams that participated in Track I. It was so much fun. Awesome. And last but not least, the best track in this uh, whole hackathon, Track J. Yeah, okay, so Track J was working on combating misinformation. It was a really, really hard decision. Um, if you ask the judges, I had to put them on a timer to decide who actually won. Um, so these are our three winners, the first being Vet Africa, Team 3, All to Learn, Team 23, and then MLP Rocket, Team 42. So Vet Africa was looking into addressing the problem of misinformation uh, regarding this virus among vulnerable populations who do not have, have access to internet in Uganda. And what they're building is an AI chatbot with USSD functionality, which would be easily accessible to vulnerable populations who do not have internet enabled phones. AltLearn um, is looking to work with children under 15 in Africa that represent 41% of the whole population, but are not targeted by COVID-19 communication, um, resulting to them being infected and infecting other people because they don't know they have the disease. And their solution was developing an audio enabled low literacy written content to target these children in order to provide them with trusted, accurate information regarding COVID-19. Last but not least, we have MLP Rocket. Um, for them, African smart, uh, smart, uh, smartphone users between 39 and 65 need a way to verify information that they have received uh, and share concerning the prevention, management, and statistics of COVID-19. And their solution is a platform that combats misinformation by checking the accuracy of information against trusted sources and providing users with shareable 
verified information to stay safe during COVID-19. Thank you so much, Track J. You guys were unbelievably amazing, patient, and uh, just great people to work with. Um, and I'm looking forward to what you guys do uh, beyond this for these winners and outside of those winners within Track J. Thank you. All right, so it's really exciting. We just announced a bunch of winners. I'm sure those teams are bouncing off the walls right now out of excitement. But now that the hack hackathon is over, the real work begins. So the hackathon is really kind of the first stage of this whole process. Um, so it's teaming and idea generation. The post hackathon is where action comes into play. And with action, time is of the essence, because as we know, this pandemic is not letting up um, and Africa is certainly at risk. So, you know, you are all part of the MIT COVID challenge community now. Um, and so we want to support all of you teams, not just the winners, in taking the next steps to turning your ideas into a reality. So I just wanted to point you to the sort of timeline uh, that we will be following over the next few weeks. Um, so the information you can expect to get from us to help you on your journeys of bringing your ideas into uh, reality. Uh, so the first thing is within the next 24 hours or so, we're gonna send around a post hack guide. Uh, Victoria, if you could just flash to the next screen for one second. So this is just sort of like a quick glance at what that's gonna look like. It's just gonna be a big, basically Excel database of uh, tons of different pieces of information. It'll have uh, the lists of participants, lists of mentors, um, and it will basically just serve as a foundation for you all as you continue to uh, build out your ideas and work to actually start bringing them to reality. We want to bounce back to the previous screen. So within the next week, um, we will send all of the participants emails with the final pitch videos, which will be uploaded onto YouTube. Uh, so you can watch not only your own pitch uh, for your track, but you can also watch the pitches for the other tracks that you were not able to uh, view because you were obviously in your own. Um, so that should be really uh, interesting. Uh, and very importantly, we're sending you a continuation survey. So if you are part of a team that wants to continue on with your idea, uh, we're gonna ask you to provide us with that information um, basically at the end of this week uh, so that we know to um, target you for the next step, which is connections with mentors and partner organizations for ongoing support. So you saw that we have all these mentors and all these partners today um, they want to help you continue on to the next step of implementation. So we want all of the continuing teams to have their support and guidance as they go on. Uh, and then finally, just ongoing. Um, so we encourage you to stay in touch with your team, keep working. Um, even if you did not win, that does not mean your ideas um, are not extremely valuable. Uh, so we really encourage you to continue on. Um, Continue to communicate and collaborate in the Slack. So the Slack will be open for the next three months. So we definitely encourage you to use that time right now as a workspace to interact with each other, to, um, you know, all the mentors will, you know, hopefully be sort of engaged on there as well. Uh, and you can use it as a workspace to continue communicating with your own team uh, and share resources, et cetera. Okay. That's about it. All right, this officially concludes the MIT COVID-19 Challenge, Africa Takes on COVID-19. Um, again, wanted to thank everyone, all the participants, mentors, partners who participated in this weekend. I know you all are as exhausted as we are, but Thank you very much for everything. And to echo what has been said before, this is really just the beginning. And so keep working on all the solutions that were created over the weekend because we certainly need it. And 
keep 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 going uh keep keep working on it so thank you very much um and please stay in touch <laughs>